guys, welcome back to my channel. Ah! Today I'm doing this very, very simple look for you guys. I decided to do something very simple, easy, kind of an everyday look. Um, yeah, as you can tell. I am using some different products in this video, not necessarily new, but different products, you know, like... I'm going away from some of my like go-to products in this video. So let me know if you like these new products. Let me know what you guys think of them. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit with a bare face. Okay, so the very first thing that we have to do, obviously, is primer. And I'm trying to make sure that this lasts. For a, for a while. So I'm taking this Rummel Stay Matte Mattifying Primer. I'm just going to put this all over my face. One thing I like about this primer is that it keeps me matte, my oily skin matte, but it doesn't dry it out, and it's from the drugstore. So it has a really great price to it. Now going in with foundation, I'm going in with my L'Oreal True Match Foundation. Except I'm in a different shade. Uh, and this is the shade W6. So I'm, right now I'm just going a shade darker. And when I'm applying this, I'm using this Morphe, um, my Morphe M439 brush. And I'm just blending this all over my face. Making sure there's no harsh lines down my neck. Okay, so for my concealer, I'm going in with this e.l.f. concealer stick and this is in the shade Ivory and as you guys probably know I put this in the high points of my face so right here on my forehead down my nose cupid's bow and chin. Today I'm going to go in with this Sigma F86 flat top kabuki brush to blend all this out. I'm not going to go in with a loose translucent powder. Today, I'm actually going to go in with this NYX Contour and Highlight Pro Palette. And I'm going to take this banana shade right here. I know, like, if you guys have been here for a while, I know this is what I used to use all the time before I started using the translucent powders. But I'm going to take the Sigma brush in 56. And I'm going to take this powder and I'm just going to place it where I put down my concealer Okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit of color to my face by bronzing. I'm taking this NARS bronzer right here. This is actually a duo, but I'm taking the bronzer in this. I'm taking a Laguna right here. And I'm going to apply this in kind of like an E or a three-shaped motion using my MAC 129 SE brush. And what I mean by that is taking from my forehead and just drawing an E. Or is this a three? Whatever. But I'm doing just this. Just running it through, and then I'll do the same exact thing on the other side. You can already tell there's just a little bit of difference, but it makes just enough difference. For my blush, I'm going to go in with a very like natural blush because I kind of want to look like just naturally like flush, kind of like if you're blushing. You know, I don't want to go with anything too crazy. And if you guys know me, I always go in with a little bit more like a bolder blush. So today I'm going to take this L'Oreal True Match Blush in W56 and I'm going to use my e.l.f. powder, no, e.l.f., this e.l.f. brush, whatever it is. And what I like about this brush is it takes just a little bit of product and it just puts like a perfect wash of product. Okay, so now I'm going to highlight. I'm taking this Physician's Formula Highlighter in the shade Beige. Pearl. And to apply this, I'm going to take none other than my Sigma F35 highlighter brush. Just kind of put that on there. And I like this highlighter because it kind of get, still gives it like that glow from within. It's not over overpowering of a highlight, but put it everywhere where I, I typically highlight. So cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, and cupid's bow. Now I'm going to move on to my eyes and I'm going to go in with this Naked Urban Decay palette 
and all my eyeshadows that I'll be using is coming from this palette, so that's a plus. As you guys know, I need to kind of like set my eyes, even though I already did that with the uh, press powder, but I'm just going to put a light wash of color all over my eyes, and I'm using my Eco Tools Large Eye Brush per always, and I'm taking the color Naked right here and applying that inner corner to outer corner all the way up to my lid. Now I'm going to go in with the color Buck right here and I'm going to put this in, blend this into my crease using the Sigma 13 rounded crease brush. Okay, so now I'm going to add a little bit dimension to my outer V and I'm going to use this Morphe E17 brush and I'm going to take and mix the color Smog and Dark Horse. Right here, I want to mix these two together and focus it right on the outer corner. Now with my Sigma E55 brush, I'm taking the color Half Baked right here, mixing it with Sidecar, which is right here, so Half Baked and Sidecar, and I'm just putting this all over my lids. Now taking the same mixture, I'm going to put it right here on my brow bone. Since I have pretty, you know, bold, full eyebrows to begin with, I'm just going to take this little spoolie brush and I'm just going to, you know, like, lightly drag it through my brows to get any, like, product off of them. But I'm not going to fill them in. Now, for my mascara, I'm going to go in with this Maybelline Big Eyes Mascara and I'm going to use both ends of this. So this purple cap is for top lashes and this black cap is for lower lashes. Believe it or not, we're already at the lips. So I'm going to take my Urban Decay lipstick and this is in the color Naked. And <laughs> this is literally all I have left of the shade. This is it. I kind of need to get a new one. So I'm just going to apply this all to my lips. Alright, so obviously we have to set our face. So I probably don't even need to mention this, but makeup... <laughs> so the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set Spray. Okay, so that finishes the look. Obviously, it's very natural, very easy. I'm pretty sure this will be my shortest video on here, as well as probably the simplest video I have, which was the goal. So, um, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up so I know you guys liked it. Don't be afraid to leave any comments down below because I really like to hear you guys' feedback. And if you're not already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Please. Alright guys, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye!